What's up guys? So today I am not going to do a live stream because tomorrow I have to wake up early in order to do the ad coder contest. You know, I'm trying to do the ad coder contest. So this video is actually going to be about the ceiling function. So this is what I learned during what one of the contests. Um, here's the thing. Okay. So let's say we have N and we read in from the user, right? And, um, now, and then I wanted to get the ceiling of N over like X or something, or, um, yeah, n over x or something. So let's say I read in n and I read in x, right? I want to get the ceiling of n over x. Okay, so normally you could do this just by calling the ceiling function, right? You just call the ceiling function. I'm actually going to convert this into a float because uh, why not? So yeah, this would give you the ceiling of n over x. Okay, right? But now, um, so like if I, if I do like, uh, let's see, if I do, uh, let's say I do like, uh, six divided by four, right? Six divided by four should give me about well, one. No, wait, well, what's six over four? Six over four is six over four is, um, six over four. Do the Oh, it should give me a two. It should give me two. Yeah. It should give me two. Yeah. Because, um, if you go on Google and you type in six over four, it, it's 1.5 and it rounds up to, uh, round up to two. Okay. So there's another way to do ceiling without using the ceiling function. And this is where you, uh, which doesn't rely on floats at all. And it's actually more, I think it's better because floats kind of, if you have like some weird trailing points and decimal points, you have some problems. Okay. What you could do is you actually could take the value you're trying to divide. So let's say I'm trying to do n over x, right? Back to n over x. I could do is I could take n, I add by x minus 1, and I just divide it by x. So here I'm going to print out, um, so I'm going to print out with ceiling function. So here with ceiling function. Which is going to give me calling the ceiling function. And this I'm going to do is without, uh, without ceiling function, but it's this, right? And I'm not going to use ceiling function. So what I'm going to do is I just add by X minus one and over X. And what I learned is that this is actually a better way to do it because you avoid using the floats and we could actually test, test this out. So let's do six and then divide by four again. So they both should give me two. So with ceiling function, I got two without ceiling function. I got two. So they both gave me two and, um, this works for everything actually. So you could do it with, um, I don't know, 11 over seven. Let's try 11 over seven. Okay. So 11 divided by seven. What does that give us? That gives us 1.57. So this should give us two. So it's 11 divided by seven. Yeah. They both give us two and we could do like, I don't know, 12. I should test this out. 12 over seven. Uh, actually let's go, let's go lo lower 12 over four. Uh, no, 12 or six, seven, 12 or five, 12 or five, 12 or five. Okay. So this should give us, um, the ceiling of this and, uh, let's just see what it gives us. So let's see 12 over five, three. Yeah. So it rounds up actually takes this and rounds up, right? Uh, so this actually rounds up. The, the higher bar. So yeah, you actually do get the same number and, um, yeah, this actually does work. So if you want to not use a ceiling function and just want to get the ceiling of something over another number, you could just add by that number minus one and then divide it by it. So then you don't have to deal with the whole floats and stuff. So yeah, this is just a quick video about ceilings. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.